Good afternoon, friends. Information given by our science teacher, Gayatri ma'am. I did a lab work. So today I am going to explain the parts of the leaf. So we are going to start from top, top to bottom. So this top part is called tip or axil. You must be wondering which, what is this line going through the middle of the leaf? Oh, so this line is called the midrib or the or the main vein. So do you see the the lines connected to the midrib? So these lines are called veins. So do you see this the side parts of the Leaf are called venal. Venal. Venules. Venules. So I am explaining the venules. Do you see this part? This part. To explain this part, I have put it. I have put paint on the bottom side of the leaf. Back side. Back side of the leaf. So do you see here lines? These are called vinyl lines. These are final lines called? These are final lines called vein, venules. venules. Mm, very good. So do you see the full, the, the, the part of the whole leaf that smooth, smooth page like thing that's called the leaf blade or the lamina so do you see the extended part of the midrib so this part is called the petiole the do you see the last part of the leaf that's connected to the stem this part is called the axil. And you see here the leaf ending from this part is called base. So, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. I see there are a lot of leaves of different colors. Yeah. Why the leaves are green? Oh, that's because of the pigment. Pigment? Do you know, scientists use chemicals Yeah. to make color? Yeah. So, the nature uses pigment. Okay. So, the, so a green color pigment is present in the leaf. That's called the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll doesn't give the plant green color only it okay. plays a very important role for a plant oh okay the the chlorophyll traps the energy from the sunlight chlorophyll traps the energy from the sunlight to make glucose glucose is the food made by made by the plant Okay. So the excess food is stored in different parts of the plant. So the excess food is called starch. Can you explain a little more about how the plants make its food? Oh. Do you know the process called photosynthesis? No. Photosynthesis means light putting together. Okay. So, 
Can you explain me a little more about photosynthesis? Yeah, sure. Do you know what this photosynthesis means? Yeah. Photosynthesis means light putting together. Pho photosynthesis is a process where plants make their food in the presence of sunlight. Okay. How do they make their food in the presence of sunlight? So, do you know what is stomata? No. Stomata are the tiny pores that are on the side the leaf that we cannot see with our naked eyes. How do we see them then? We see them with an advanced microscope. Okay. Then what happens? Then the chlorophyll traps the sunlight and stomata takes in the carbon dioxide present in the air. It takes carbon dioxide present in the air through stomata. And the root absorb water from the soil. The plant put it together to make food. The food of the plant is called glucose. In our language, we tell food. So, in plants language, we tell that glucose. Okay. Mm. So, do you... You said plants make their food in the presence of sunlight. What happens when there is no sunlight? For example, in the night or a rainy season or when there is no sun around. Mm. They don't eat they store food. The stored food is known as the the stored food food is known as a starch. Do you know what is starch? The stored food in the plants is called starch. The starch is sto stored in stem, leaves, fruit, flower, root. So each part of the plants. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you for enlightening me with the knowledge. Wait, I am. Ex I have to explain some more. What? Do you see this pattern of the leaf? Yeah, this pattern. Yes. What about this pattern? This pa this pattern is called venation. Pattern is called venation. Okay, nice. I didn't know that. That's a nice word, venation. There are two types of venation. Parallel venation and reticulate venation. Okay. This leaf is an example of reticulate venation. Hmm. Reticulate venation means a line attached with a many lines attached with a midrib. Okay. And parallel? Parallel means many leaves in straight lines. Many, sorry, many veins in straight lines. Okay, thank you.